In 1871, Darwin published another book, The Descent of Man, in which he claimed that man evolved from some ape-like creatures. There was another important aspect to Darwin's theory, a subtitle in his book, The Origin of the Species by Way of Natural Selection, or The Preservation of Favored Races in the Struggle for Life, explicitly reveals his racial views. Darwin was an out-and-out -out racist, believing in the superiority of the white man. I'm going to talk to you guys about the error of evolution. Atheists have to believe, yes, in the depressed man Darwin. Do you know D Darwin was very scared and depressed and lonely on his deathbed? Here's some other sad facts about Darwin. Do you know that on his deathbed he was very scared and lonely? Why was he so scared and lonely then? I don't know. Maybe he was scared because he was about to die? Look. I don't give a fuck about Darwin's personal life. I don't care if he was a racist baby raper who was addicted to feasting on the flesh of stillborn puppies. It doesn't matter. Evolution doesn't need Charles Darwin to be true, and only a stupid dumbass would include studying the personal life of Darwin and researching the validity of evolutionary theory. There is endless amounts of real scientific study and research which backs up and fully verifies the theory of evolution and none of it relies on or has anything to do with the character of Charles Darwin. And even though Darwin was clearly not a racist, the question of whether he was or was not a racist has nothing to do with the veracity of the theory of evolution. So go ahead, creationists. Continue to spin your bullshit tales about the life and times of Charles Darwin. But if you're going to tell a bunch of out-and-out -out lies about the man, you might as well get a little more creative with the whole thing and make it sound a bit more interesting. Here, I'll even show you how you can make this whole lying thing a lot more entertaining to watch. Hi there. OG the Creationist here with some important historical information about Charles Darwin that you might not be aware of. Charles Darwin was a chronic masturbator who could only achieve an erection by smearing gorilla feces all over his own body while fantasizing about raping imaginary bearded monkey creatures and shitting himself all at the same time. Also, Darwin peed sitting down for his entire life and enjoyed watching other men pee sitting down as well. Shame on you, Charles Darwin.